Portland does off the grid better than the Browns. But do they have any survival skills and love? Do they get romantic while battling bears? Or frisky with frostbite? And are they hooking up with city people? It's getting really wild now. I get my inspiration from nature most of the time, you know, that's why I like draw animals or wolves or whatever. Uh, plus, I've been in, uh, in the woods most of my life. According to In Touch, Bam met Allison Kagan while she was working as a field producer on Alaskan Bush People in November 2016, and their relationship blossomed from there. While the couple have kept it pretty private, Bam did reveal, via The Sun, I'm head over heels for a city girl. She stirred something inside me and made my soul wake up. In addition to working on the show, Kagan has also lent her talents to the Bravo, MTV, TLC, and Lifetime networks. As a director and field producer, she is credited on several fan favorites, including 90 Day Fiancé, Teen Mom 3, 16 and Pregnant, and Darcy and Stacey. Bear met his wife, Raven Adams, in 2018 at his brother Noah's wedding. As Bear told People, Raven's mom was photographing the event, and Raven was playing her assistant. Well, my son, you look quite beautiful. Thank you. They started dating and were on again, off again for years, first getting engaged in August 2019, then calling it off. After the couple announced they were pregnant that same month, Bear shared on Instagram that they were getting back together. Then they split again. But following the birth of their son, River, in March 2020, the pair reunited in August 2021. They finally tied the knot on January 16, 2022. As Bear told the outlet, It feels really good to be a married man. I've loved Raven a long time, and it's an honor and a privilege to finally call her my wife. She is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, and still takes my breath away. And it appears Raven shares the love right back to her hubs. She added, Bear looked very handsome, and I'm very grateful for the family we've made. Gabe and Raquel Rose Pantilla met through Gabe's sister Rain and started dating on Valentine's Day in 2018. According to In Touch, a year later, the pair got married in a private ceremony in January 2019, with Noah officiating. This day is going to go down in the history books as one of the best days of my life. The couple then shared a second wedding ceremony in June 2019, with extended family and friends included. Gabe told People, I'm so happy my family, especially my mom, could be by our side on our special day. Raquel is my one true love, and we're really grateful to have met each other. God is good. The couple are now the proud parents to two children, who sometimes make appearances on their parents' social media. And these days, though their relationship blossomed quickly, the pair seems to be very much in love. Noah met his wife, Rain Alicia Merrill, in August 2016. At the time, the Brown family matriarch Amy had just been diagnosed with lung cancer. Rain remained by Noah's side, with Noah sharing on Facebook, Rain Alicia has been so patient and supporting me through everything that has been happening. My mother's cancer, having to leave Alaska, my car keeps breaking down, and all in all, I have been thinking of how thankful I am that she moved in with me, instead of going back to Oregon. She's not just my girlfriend and my partner, she is my best friend." Exactly two years after they met, the couple got married in August 2018, and they shared two children together. In contrast to the guys of the Brown family, sisters Rain and Snowbird keep their love lives very private. But while there hasn't been any indication of either of the girls being in a relationship, this sure hasn't stopped fans from speculating throughout the years. I can totally see why they're so happy. Mm -hmm. Snowbird is supposedly single and dedicates her time to her family. Most recently, she's been busy rebuilding the family ranch after it was destroyed by fires. The Palmer wildfires devastated the show's shooting location in Washington in 2020. Then there's the youngest of the Brown family, Rain, who also appears to be single. But while she keeps her relationship status on the down low, the 19-year-old enjoys sharing everything else about her life on Instagram and TikTok. Outside of the show, Rain enjoys spending time with her Pomeranian, Jackson Maine, who, of course, has his own Instagram. The eldest brother of the Brown family, Matt, has been laying low since leaving the show in season 8. Prior to his departure, he had openly struggled with alcohol abuse, going to rehab first in 2016, then two years later in 2018, according to People. As he shared on Instagram, he blames his situation on the micromanagement of his personal life by production, which ultimately led to conflict within his family. According to The Sun, Matt was also accused of sexual assault. We're all strong people who are there for each other and everything. Mm -hmm but everybody's their moments." He revealed on Instagram in April 2021 that he had engaged in a three-year affair after exiting the Betty Ford Rehab Center. He wrote, "...I started messing around with a married woman. I fell in love with her, she fell in love with me, and it was wrong. It really was. This made my family think worse of me." According to Matt, when the woman relapsed, he moved back to Washington. As of 2022, Matt remains estranged from his family, but is active on social media. Amy and Billy Brown met while living in Texas and married in 1979, when Amy was just 15 and Billy was 26. Amy then had Matt three years later at the age of 18, and six more kids after that. 
After starting a family, the couple moved from Texas to Alaska. There, they built their lives together, until Billy's sudden death in February 2021. He was 68 years old. I feel him with me. It's like he's still here. Shortly after his dad's passing, Bear shared on Instagram on behalf of his mother, my mom wanted me to personally thank everybody for all the support in this very hard time. By far the hardest time my family, the Wolfpack, has ever been through. We have received condolences from all over the world, so thank you to all y'all guys from all over the world. It means a lot to us. Be sure to tell the people closest to you how much you love them. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.